Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's short lesson, I want to introduce you to a very cool backgammon move called the Double Tiger Play. Now this term was first coined by Michihito Kagiyama, Grandmaster Michi, in his first publication, Opening Concepts. It is a fantastic book, very much worth reading. I'll put a link to it in the video description. Now, in this book, under Proverbs 6, he writes, to double hit is tiger play. Now, what is a double tiger play? Well, a double tiger play is when you aggressively hit two checkers in your own home board, exposing two of your own checkers in the process. Now, it is a risky and bold play, but if it is successful, you would gain a huge advantage in the game. You strike out like a tiger and you reap the rewards. So now let's look at some positions to demonstrate this concept. Now here white has a 3-2 to play. QB centered, it's a money game. How would you choose to play 3-2? Now the right move is the double tiger play, eight to five, six to four. Now Michi writes that this is a strong tiger play. This is where you leave the blot on a point you would like to make after a double hit. Now notice here, after making the double hit, the double tiger play, we are also slotting the two best points in our home board as white, the five point and the four point hoping to make those, of course, on a subsequent roll. Now there are alternatives here. We could choose to hit once, we could play 13 to eight, but those moves, particularly 13 to eight, are very passive. It gives green good momentum to anchor up, making a golden point or escape or build his own home board. Here, we make the strong tiger play, we strike out, and we go on the attack, slotting the two best points. You can see anything besides a double tiger play is an error or even a blunder. Now, if we make a comparison between the double tiger play on the left and the single hit, or what we might call the single tiger play on the right, we can see what would happen when green came to enter from the bar. Now, after a double tiger play on the left, green would have 21 return shots from the bar, any four or any five plus double two. We would have after the move as wide 52% wins and 23% gammons. On the right hand side in comparison from the bar, green has 17 return shots, any five, four, one, two, one, two, three. 52% wins also, and the gammons are slightly lower at 20%. Now, looking at this comparison, you may be asking yourself, well, why on earth would you choose to make the double tiger play when you are giving your opponent four extra return shots from the bar? Good question. Now, the reason for that is worth exploring further. Now, the reason why the double tiger play is better is because of the amount of rolls that enter from the bar and the ensuing cube action. Now we always want to think about our cube plays as we're making our checker plays. Now here on the left hand side after the double tiger play, green now has only nine rolls to enter both checkers from the bar. That's 25% of rolls. Now, if green doesn't enter either of those checkers by rolling something bad, such as 1-6, one, 1-3, one, double one, then it's a double pass as white. If green only enters one checker low on the two point with 2-1, two, 2-3 two, and 2-6, these become a double take for white. And of course, the gammons are high, so getting the cube involved is good um, for us, uh, particularly you know if we're playing for money and raising the stakes or even in a match to kind of get more points to lead you towards the final win. Now, on the right hand side, Green now has, after a single hit, 27 rolls to enter the checker. So now Green has 75% of rolls to enter that checker, whereas before, Green had only 25% of rolls. And we only get a double take 
as white if green rolls one of nine numbers to not enter. So this is simply why the double tiger is by far the best play because of the cube action and also when green is struggling to enter both checkers down we can simply bring more down from the mid as wide we can make more points we have a very strong winning position so strike out like the tiger now it's also worth considering before you make the double tiger play home board considerations so here i've made an adjustment where green on the left has a three point home board what Billy Roberti would call the rack, the 654 formation, and on the right, a two point board. Now, here on the left, the best move by far is a 13 8, making the safe play because of green stronger home board. Whereas on the right, the double hit is by far the best play, and anything else would be a blunder. So you can see. When green has a three point board, it's better to play safe. The double tiger is too risky. Whereas on the right where green has a two point board, we make the double tiger and play more aggressively. Now, this is something you can do on XG. You can manipulate positions to see when the double tiger is right, when it's not right, manipulate, add different home board strengths and see kind of what outcomes you get and also the cube actions now let's look at another position now here how would you choose to play six five as white now here the double tiger is correct by a large margin 10 to 4 6 to 1 resulting in that position on the bottom right now we are not slotting the best points here yes we're slotting the four point but the one point is not really a slot that checker is quite deep however the double hit is simply so strong we have the stronger home board as white if we are hit back uh, from green green has another blot in the home board green only has a one point board we have an anchor there's lots of reasons here why the double hit is simply strong because if it goes right it goes very right but if it goes wrong well we've already got three checkers back and we've got another one to shoot at so here the double tiger play is correct and again you can put this through xg have a look at cube action for example if green were to roll a five six or double six or double five and not enter a checker would you choose to double then and would he be a take and would he be a pass which one would he be walls is law if your opponent doesn't know whether to take or pass maybe it's right to throw the double in check it out on xg let's look at this position white to play a six three Now here, the double tiger play, although tempting, is a big blunder. Yes, by making the double tiger play, we are slotting two points, the two best points remaining in our home board, the four point and the three point. But here we have to look at other candidate plays and the pip count. Now, because we are ahead in the race by 10 pips and there is a safer play, 17 11 13 to 10 where we make two new eight field points it's simply a very good candidate play which is actually much better than putting ourselves in a very vulnerable position where green has a three point prime and things can go badly wrong so here we just consolidate our position being ahead in the race so certainly when you have an option to make the double tiger play or not to make a bold play have a look at the four quadrants have a look at home board strength decide what's likely to happen after the double hit how risky is it being hit back in return and should you make the aggressive play
Now, this is a final position. White has a 5-1 to play. Now, again, you could make a double tiger play or you couldn't. Now, what is your choice and what is the reasoning behind it? What is the why behind the what? Um, I will put the answer to this in the video description so you can check that out afterwards. So there you are, the double tiger play, a great colourful concept by Grandmaster Michihito Kagiyama, Michi to the backgammon community. Check out his book, check out my other videos. I have plenty of videos on different concepts, different grandmasters talking about how to improve and subscribe if you like my channel. New videos every Wednesday. Happy dice. See you soon. Goodbye.